In a network channel, there are multiple devices at work that oversees the data exchange over the communication channel. These devices are differentiated based on their performance, processing unit, and working protocols, which we'll be discussing later in the session. Hi guys, and welcome to yet another trusting video by Simply Learn. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to miss an update from us. Now, without further ado, let's take a look at the agenda for this session. To begin with, we will look into what is a hub and some information related to the network hub. Moving to the next topic, we will look into what are network switches and some information about the same. Next, we will look into what are network routers and how they affect the networking exchange of data between communication channels. As for the last topic will be a difference between a network hub, switch and a network router. Let's begin with the introduction to the network hub. A network hub is a device that is designed to connect multiple network units in a closely connected network channel. So hubs are also used in LAN networks. The network hub shares data with the destination device by acting as a central connection point of data transmission and connecting all the other devices to, in the channel. Some points to remember about the working of a hub. Hub is incapable of processing any complex protocols due to the absence of an intelligent unit in the system. Also, the physical model of the hub is composed of multiple sockets for connecting network devices. Now let's move on to the working of a network hub. For the first scenario, we will assume that a message is being sent through the hub to a destination node. Let's begin. According to the example, hub has received a message for device A, where it will share the same message to device A, which is a basic protocol. But due to the absence of any intelligent unit or a processing point in the hub device, it will share the message for A to all the other connected devices that are device B as well as device C. This creates a lot of access of traffic in the network channel. Now let's move on to the second scenario, which is when receiving a response from the device. In this case, when the device A shares a response to the hub to be sent to the sender device, it will share the same response to all the other connected devices again due to the same reason that is lack of any processing unit or intelligent point in the network channel. Please take a look at the arrow points which is very important during the transmission of data. With this we have cleared all the points that are important for a network hub. Now let's move on to the next topic that is information on switches. The network switch is a networking device that is active in the data link layer of the OSI model and is designed specifically to connect private networks in a LAN channel. Switches are programmed to share messages only with a designated device that is mentioned in the header format of the message, which cuts down the network traffic in the channel. Switches uses different types of data, which can be either packets or data frames. Switch uses a destination source address and the destination address for forwarding the message to the specific device in the system. Now let's look into the working of a network switch. The first scenario is when the message is received to a switch and is to be forwarded to a particular device. In this case, we are receiving a message for device A, which will be shared only to device A according to the address mentioned in the header format. This decreases the network traffic in the channel and also prevent the access of message to device B and device C. This task of managing the address and sending the data 
to the designated device is handled using MAC address, which is used by the network card installed in the network device. Now let's move on to the second scenario that is receiving a response from the device. In this case, the switch will receive a response from device A, which will be forwarded to the sender's address mentioned in the message. And this will prevent the response to be shared to device B and device C due to the presence of a processing unit in the switch. With this, we have completed all the important points to be known regarding a network switch. Now let's move on to the third topic that is information on routers. Let's begin. A network router is a device that is designed to share data between multiple networks at a much larger scale in comparison to a hub or a network switch. It is connected to multiple devices at a very large level that can be considered as metropolitan area network or a wide area network. Router uses IP addresses to share data with the specified device in the network channel. And they also perform the task of translating an address that is available in a private network to a globally recognized network so that it can access internet, which is known as NAT, Network Address Translation. If you want to look further in the translation process that the router performs, you can visit our video on the same in the SimpliLearn channel. Now, with this, we have completed all the introduction points regarding a network router. Now let's move on to the working of a network router. In this scenario, a message has been received by the router for device A, from which it will deduce the IP address for the device A and share the data. The message deliver efficiency is highest in case of a network router as it uses routing paths from a routing table to guide the message to its destination point and vice versa. With this, we have completed all the important points regarding a network router. Now let's move on to the last setting for this session that is difference between a network hub, switch and a router. For this difference, we will use different features to differentiate the working of a hub, switch and a router. The first difference is based upon the OSI model layer. In case of a hub, it is active in the physical layer of the OSI model that is also known as the first layer. And in case of a switch, it is active in the data link layer of the OSI model also known as the second layer. Whereas a network router is active in the network layer of the SI model, also known as the third layer. Now let's move on to the next difference that is based on addresses used by each of them. Let's take a look. A hub, as we already discussed, doesn't use a MAC address or an IP address for the transmission of data in the network channel. In case of a switch, it uses MAC addresses available in the network channel to provide a guidance system for the message to be transferred. Whereas in case of a router, it uses IP addresses to transmit the data to the designated device. Let's move on to some other differences. That is format of data used in each of them. Hub uses electrical signals or bits for data transmission in a network channel. Whereas Switch uses a data frame or data packets for the transmission of data over the communication channel. And in case of a router, it uses data packets to be transferred. And the next difference is based on the mode of transmission. Let's take a look for this. A hub is based on half duplex network connection. That means at a certain point of time, only a single device can share or receive data from the other endpoint of the network channel. 
and in case of a switch it is full duplex network connection that means it can simultaneously receive and send a data packet or a data frame to any of the network devices connected in the system similarly a router is also based upon the full duplex network connection form let's move on to the next difference that is installation purpose on the basis of installation purpose a hub is mainly preferred in a lan network or in a private network where two to three devices are to be connected which increases the efficiency due to the absence of a processing unit in a hub as for a switch it connects multiple lan networks or a large area network available as for the case in a network router it is a global network that connects multiple devices across the globe and is also designed to connect internet to any of the device let's take a look at the next difference that is device classification in case of a hub it uses broadcast format or a broadcasting device to transmit data over the communication channel due to the absence of any processing unit in the system and in case of a switch it uses multicasting application for the transmission of data and in case of a router it uses routing path from a routing table to transmit the data in the communication channel let's take a look at a few more differences that is installation cost a network hub can be installed very easily in a network channel as it does not perform any complex task in case of a switch it required moderate cost installation as it performs some complex queries or complex protocols in the network channel whereas in case of a router it is the most expensive to install in the network channel due to the high device specs and the performance based protocol and the next difference is based upon processing and intelligence now that we are clear a hub device does not have any processing unit or intelligence point and is the most basic point of data transmission whereas in case of a switch it possesses a processing unit to differentiate the destination address or a source address in the header format of the message whereas in case of a network router it is the most sophisticated device among all the three network devices as it performs the most complex queries and protocols in the network channel with this we are completed with the session on difference between a network hub switch and a network router if you have any questions or queries regarding the topic you can ask them in the comment section thank you for watching hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here